If you do that first, then you can uh, carry on with this uh, video. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Rick and in this little clip it's going to be about the KTM Adventure Terror jacket. This one here. Uh, it's in response to a question because uh, someone in a previous video said, ah is that the Terror jacket? What's your thoughts on it? Um, okay so in short um, I'll start off with uh, the actual build quality. Um, it's a really nice well put together jacket. Um, it is expensive but uh, you pay for obviously the brand name and what you get, the uh, quality product. Um, it's very light, uh, it comes with a thermal liner which is a jacket in itself um, and plenty of um, zips, airflow zips, ventilation um, which is usually a killer when it comes to my uh, rucker. So I probably wouldn't use this jacket uh, early part of the first quarter or mid to back end of the uh, last quarter of the year because uh, it, uh, it's definitely not a, a warm jacket by any means uh, if you're going to ride in those conditions. Um, I will stick to my Rooker jacket for that and also for road riding. If you're mainly road riding, again, it's probably not the best jacket because um, it hasn't got the, well, for that kind of price you can probably get a jacket with more armour, so to speak, uh, and less ventilation. So it is made for adventure riding at the end of the day. Um, so yeah, you've got a, a pocket here, which is detachable, uh, which I'll show you, which goes on here. Because this jacket is actually shower proof, um, but not completely waterproof. You wouldn't get, uh, you wouldn't be dry after a good soaking in the rain on the, on the road. Um, but with a bit of drizzle, light rain, it should be all right. Um, what I bought it for was basically warm days out riding bit of road and mainly off-road um, <laughs> off-road not that I'm going to be doing that much this year anyway but uh, that's another story so yeah I was out for a ride yesterday giving it a good test it's the first time I've used it properly uh, as you can see I've got bug splats on it um, so I have given it a good run so let's go over the ventilation uh, to start off with right Ventilation. Open that, got do that, and you got a zip here. Detach that, roll it away, tuck it in there. Two very, very big ventilation pockets. That goes straight through to the jacket inside. You've got ventilation all the way down here. Yep. Turn it round. Ventilation down here. Massive ventilation back here as well, and to keep the and to keep these open, if I pull on these tabs here. It opens these up, so you see. Um, oh, liner. <laughs> so, that's got the waterproof liner. So at the moment I've got a pocket attached. 
I could take that off. That's just a pocket. For some people, they might want to use the uh, pocket at the back to carry something else. Um, so yeah. You can attach. Oh, let's have a go at this. Waterproof liner. Let's see if that's still in focus. Yeah. Um, should be anything else to tell about the exterior. You've got two zip pockets here, lined. So you've got a pocket there. You've got a zip pocket here. So I've got my earplugs in. And you have a waterproof pocket here. Right, this is a no frills channel by the way, so don't expect anything like Revzilla or something like that. I'm just giving you my opinion in answer to a, a comment that was left on a previous vid. Um, okay, so let me just quickly put the bike, the, the bike, the jacket back to how it is, how it was. Yeah, zip that up. I'll put the uh, waterproof liner back in a minute. Anyway, I'll open the jacket up. That's got a magnet. It's just Velcro front with one press stud <coughs> at the bottom. Open this. Opens the inner jacket with a liner. You've got one inside pocket. And I must say, I have not opened this jacket before because we haven't I haven't had the weather to actually warrant removing this but um, yeah you can see you've got a you've got a proper jacket inside yeah oh and a waterproof pocket here as well and you can fit a chest protector. Should you wish to do so. And another pocket on the actual jacket. I <laughs> didn't even know that was there. Right. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pretend I knew everything because I didn't. I'm finding out as I go along as I'm finding out because I've never taken this out. Anyway, enough of, enough of that. Let's just get this back together. I'm sorry I'm not taking it out because it will drive me crazy getting these arms back correctly. Anyway. That is a quick, oh, got a toggle cord here. And a toggle cord here pulls the jacket in tight if you wish to do so. Um, arm pads, shoulder pads, and what we've got at the back, uh, I believe. Yeah, oh, actually, there's actually a soft sponge pad. Uh, probably all right on the sand or a bit of mud or something like that, grass but uh, I don't think it would protect you from any fall on tarmac at speed. 
like I say, it's not a road road jacket. It's an adventure jacket. Um, I'd probably stick to my rucker for any uh, you know serious road riding. Right, that was a quick wrap up. Um, KTM Terra uh, adventure jacket, um, around 450 pounds. You might be able to get it cheaper. Uh, it looks really nice. Feels nice. Uh, good for warm weather. Um, late late spring mid to late autumn pushing it anyway in the UK um, fantastic I love it um, took me a while to decide but uh, I'm glad I've got this one uh, and my uh, rucker jacket the best combination for me all right